Hi, Jamie. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very well. So it's such an honor to speak with you because I find you're such a fascinating performer. Oh, um, you. You're a chameleon in each of your roles, but especially in the physicality in each of your roles. And then I found was I, I was watching you as Harper. He's so methodical in how he moves, how he speaks, how he's deliberate in both. And then especially it was like a cat with its mouse as like it's kind of stalking its prey, how mm. it moves in for the kill. So I'm curious how you went about playing Harper because he's so enigmatic in the book and the show. Mm. Oh, thank, well, thank you very much. Uh, I mean, obviously we were given such a great foundation from the novel, you know, uh, just what a great piece of fiction writing that is, a great um, creation of a character. Um, you know, I, I often find, you know, the, the mental stuff informs the physical you know, and at the heart of Harper, what is he? Like, he's someone who desperately wants control, who asserts that dominance and, and control over his victims to feel powerful, which means at the heart of that person is probably a man who feels out of control and is diminished and weak. So that kind of informs a certain kind of physicality. Um, you know, I, I always saw him as someone who's hungry. Um, mm. He has a hunger, like he's never satiated. He's always kind of looking for the next meal, you know, the... the um, I live in Los Angeles and there's a, a lot of coyote, coyotes on the road at night and stuff. And I always kind of thought that it's kind of like Harper, like he's alone mm. out there just looking for something to feed on and um, and, and a, a desperation to, to get the next meal. And um, I kind of thought about that a lot, but, uh, it, and also just kind of not playing the boogeyman. I think that was, that was the right. big thing. And I struggled with that early on in the, in the filming of it. And, you know, uh, we, we kind of got, more comfortable with it, um, you know, because he doesn't see himself as a villain. He doesn't see himself right. as this awful human being. Of course he doesn't. He, he's just, he has these compulsions and these behaviors and sometimes he acts out on it. Um, uh, so it was kind of uh, finding all, all, all that and, and, and him being a person who is approachable and unthreatening. And um, as, you, as you said, because you, there's no mystery about that. He did it. We know that he's the bad guy. So right. we need, we're going to need more. We're going to need like, it needs to be in the behavior. It needs to be in the way that we study him. That's going to keep people watching. So as an actor, that was really fun to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And what a great performance. You. Now you've collaborated with Max Minghella with producing each other's projects. I'm so excited for the turn of the key that you're working on right now. And I bring this up because of course, Max has worked with Elizabeth Moss on The Handmaid's Tale. So I'm curious if you had known her before working with her on this. Um, only in passing. Um, I think I met her at one of their many SAG Awards. <laughs> right parties that they had had because they're you know their annual um bestowing of uh, appreciation and love on their show and much they should it's very well deserved it's a fantastic show so i'd obviously followed her as an actor for many years with just growing awe as like is this one of our finest actresses who to ever grace the screen <laughs> basically yes. but then also like hearing stuff obviously from max just about her as a human being, her ability as as not only an actor, but now as a filmmaker, because she's directed him in Handmaids, and I heard that she's just fantastic and um, wonderful as a filmmaker too. So mm -hmm. when I found out I get to work with her in both capacities, um, I was already so well versed. But even that, you know, she's just it's remarkable. I mean, I, I genuinely feel like I can I can kind of do one job where she's kind of got like three jobs that she's doing. You know, she's actor producing and directing um so i i just i felt uh genuinely like i need to be doing more with my life <laughs> after working with her she's an inspiration for sure i agree now you've worked with amazing collaborators over the years when we spoke to margaret qualley for maid she was so excited to work with you on fred and ginger so i'm curious who have you worked with in the past that you'd love to work with again there, I, this you know been so fortunate to go through this business to look back on all of them, you know, and just go like, God, I've been so lucky. You know, you hear horror stories, of course. Um, uh, so I just, I just been so fortunate. Uh, I mean, working with Annette Benning was extraordinary. I mean, you talk about like some of the great actresses. Involved. I mean, she's just staggering. Um, you know, so I, I just, I've been incredibly lucky just with the, and some of the directors even too. Like I worked with Bong Joon Ho, who's Fantastic. Kerry Fukunaga, I worked with ages ago, it was brilliant, and Spielberg. And so I feel, um, 
I just can't believe it. You know, I'm very, I'm basically the luckiest person in in the world to 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 have done this for so long and to and to be able to keep doing it. Um, uh, I just feel very fortunate. You know, very fortunate indeed. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious, what have you been watching lately that you've been really into? I've been watching Slow Horses, Suspicion, mm -hmm. Servant, Pachinko. <laughs> I sense a pattern. Servant. Severance is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Little Voice is very good. Can I say C? I think I've run out now. <laughs> I've run out of the Apple shows. They're great. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. Uh, so yeah a lot of those no like like all of us we're inundated now inundated with it but there's such a variety of great fun excellent talented stuff to watch so i mean what a time what a time to what a time to be a subscriber <laughs> great answer well thank you so much for the art that you bring to the world jamie i really appreciate it thank Have you so much for your day. time thank you take care